Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we're making barbecue mushroom pulled pork sandwiches. Grab a plate, cause it's the all-free whole food plant-based cooking show. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Today we are making a plant-based version of essentially a barbecue pulled pork sandwich. They are amazingly delicious. You are gonna love this. The star of this, the day are king mushrooms. That's what we're gonna shred to give you the feel of what a pulled pork sandwich is like. And this just happened to be the winning vote from our membership community. Uh, I let them vote every month on what recipe I'm gonna work on next. And this was the winning vote. So here you go, guys. So we're gonna start. I have one large onion already sliced. I sliced it in half. And then I sliced it really thin, kind of like, you know, like matchstick uh, size because I want it to look similar to what the shreds are going to look like from the mushrooms. So we're going to get those cooking. And we're going to cook them down until they're, they're kind of like caramelized almost. But we're going to stop right before they get to that point and then we're going to add our mushrooms in. And um, I just put them in there by themselves, no oil. And as they cook, if they start sticking, I have some vegetable broth here. I have a whole, one cup of vegetable broth that I will use when we're also cooking the mushrooms down because the king mushrooms are kind of a drier mushroom. Uh, usually when you cook like button mushrooms or something, they release a lot of water, but these guys don't release as much water. So this is gonna be the assist. So I'm gonna let these cook down and then I'll show you how we're gonna do our mushrooms. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded, which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of free printable recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy cookbook series are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting membership community. Our supporting members gain access to great member perks like our monthly product giveaways, ebooks, and in-depth courses, including our 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. So if you love our recipes, I invite you to join us on our mission to make plant-based cooking easy and follow the link in the description to become a supporting member today. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, so our onions are just about done. If you wanna come and take a look at what they look like so that this is the point you want them at before we add our mushrooms. And some of these are gonna be, are, are, we're gonna reserve for the barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna take a little bit out because the barbecue sauce recipe calls for one small onion that's cooked just in the same way. So we're gonna take about that much out. Maybe, I don't know, between a half cup and a cup, something like that. Leave the rest in the pan and I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna set that aside. Now I'm gonna show you how to do your mushrooms. So usually, you know, they come as full mushrooms like this. This is just what I could get at our store. So you just take your two forks and you just kind of poke into one and you just pull with the other. And it already looks like, it looks, you know, it looks like pork when it's shredded. Just that, that texture like that. It's just very, very unique. So we are going to shred all of these and this is an eight ounce container and it will make two really decent size uh, sandwiches with some extra. So you'll probably have enough to have maybe two, you know, like two in the evening and then two tomorrow. So you'll have plenty for leftovers. And if you've read the study by Dr. Furman, which I'll give you a link in the details also to, he did a study about mushrooms and found that if you eat mushrooms every day, some type of mushroom, any type of mushroom, a mixture of mushrooms every day, especially women, you can reduce your chances of getting breast cancer by 65%. But if you're eating plant-based, you're already, you're already mitigating some of that stuff too. But 
it's so important to get those mushrooms in there. Whew. Okay, there we go. So there's your mushrooms. All right, so we're gonna turn our burner back on and I'm gonna add just a little bit of the veggie broth. And we're gonna add all of our mushrooms to the pan. Okay, so we're just gonna keep cooking these down and it's, pr it's between five and 10 minutes to cook them until they're really nice and soft and chewy. So we're just gonna let those cook for a little while and then I'll show you how to make the barbecue sauce. Today's show is brought to you in part by Compliment. As healthy as it is, did you know there are a handful of missing or hard to get nutrients from a plant-based diet? The latest research suggests that complementing your diet with a few specific vitamins, minerals, and omega-3s will help boost your energy and keep you thriving for the long term. That's why I take Complement Plus every day. Complement Plus contains the eight critical nutrients in dosages optimized specifically for plant-based eaters. Plus, they're completely transparent about ingredient sourcing and third-party testing, publishing the results directly on their website. As a special discount for our viewers, just use the code WFPB15 at checkout to save 15% off of your order. All right, so our mushrooms and onions are done. If you wanna come and take a look at how they look, and the mushrooms and onions, they all kind of look the same, which is what we're going for. Okay, so on to the barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna start with my onions here that we cooked from there. And then I have four tablespoons of tomato paste. Three teaspoons of molasses, black strap molasses. That's gonna give it that like North Carolina barbecue sauce flavor. Okay. Half a cup of pitted dates. Two teaspoons of tamari sauce. Two and a half teaspoons of smoked paprika. A half teaspoon of garlic powder. And a half teaspoon of pepper. Then we have a third of a cup of white wine vinegar and three quarters of a cup of water. And if you want the whole recipe, a printable version of the recipe, that will be in a link in the details below. So now all we have to do is just blend this up until it's really nice and smooth. Today's show is brought to you in part by Wellbean. Beans are an essential part of a whole food plant-based diet and should feature prominently in our daily menu. We love finding new and convenient ways to get our servings in. Wellbean is a tasty and wholesome way to get half a serving of beans in every bar. Wellbean bars are vegan and gluten-free with no preservatives and no added salt, sugar, or oil. Each bar is made only from an assortment of beans, fruits, nuts, and seeds. As a special deal for our viewers, follow the link in the description and use the code TRYWELLBEAN5 to save $5 off a variety pack on your first order, because life is better with beans. Okay, there we go. Oh wow, this smells so good. Okay, so the next step is completely up to you how much of the barbecue sauce you use. And if you see, you know, there's probably two cups worth of the onion and mushroom mixture. So I'm gonna use about a cup of this barbecue sauce. I'm gonna pour it in there, turn my burner back on to medium high, and we are gonna cook this barbecue sauce into it. But you only need, you know, just a few minutes until it kind of dries out the sauce just a little bit and it sticks to those mushrooms and onions really well. So I'm just gonna let this cook for, you know, maybe three to four minutes and then I'll grab a bun and I'll meet you at the table for a taste. Here we go, guys. Let's get this sandwich going. Oh, you can smell that barbecue. Oof. 
Look at that. Ooh-wee. I can tell this is going to be amazing. Ooh. Gotta get a lot of it in there. Okay, well. Look at that. All right, here we go. This is probably going to be messy. Mm-hmm. I guess you know it's good when you have barbecue sauce all over your face. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. It brings back so many memories. Mmm. Summer picnics with barbecue sandwiches. Oh, yum. Mmm. You're definitely going to have to give this one a try. So be sure to give this video a like. Click that subscribe button. And I'll see you next week for another great recipe.